Cowabunga bitches. Let's do it. Like this. Cowabunga motherfucker. Huh? <laughs> Cowabunga! Ninja Turtles. This is my Ninja Turtle outfit. Now, it started when I went to Dangerfield. I went to Dangerfield. It's a great store. It's one of my favourite stores. The trouble with Dangerfield is if you go in there just going, oh yeah, I'm going to have a browse, most likely you'll end up buying something. So, um, they've always got specials on. They've always got really cool things. You know, I went in there. Um, I didn't... Actually, I was walking past and they've got like an outlet in Maya and I saw this go. Wow! Uh, it reminded me of the Ninja Turtles opening credit for the arcade game from the 80s. So, I was like, oh, got to get that. Plus, they had the super discount, 40% off on it. So, I think I paid $16 for this skirt. It's pleated. It's great quality. It's got a lining on it as well. So, yeah. it's, this is, you know, much, it's worth much more than $16. But they've, all, they've often got these kinds of sales on. Um, and I tell myself, I'm not going in there because if I do go in there, I'm going to find something cool and I'm going to buy something, I will. Even if I've got no money, I will buy something and end up with even less money. The staff are really nice. They've got this brand called Princess Highway, which is my favourite brand, and so many cool accessories. Just great staff, great selection of clothes, awesome style. I love that store, I do. And um, yeah, so I've got this coat, right. and it reminded me of the opening credits for the arcade game from the 80s. And, you know, being a big fan of Ninja Turtles, I thought, oh, I'll get a t-shirt that matches. So I've been hanging out to this for a few, like two months maybe, maybe even longer. But two or three days ago, I found this t-shirt. And it has the classic Ninja Turtles on there um, from the 80s. And it matches my skirt. So the Ninja Turtles outfit is complete. I'm so happy with it. The only thing I would change would probably be that the t-shirt be black. Mostly black. And this. But this is so cool. I'm so happy with it. To finally have the complete outfit. And it's ready to wear. And I've oh, no, got toys. So, yeah, it's all good. What would be cool would be to have like little shell earrings. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> Turtle shells like like that. <laughs> yeah. So Ninja Turtles. Cool. I'll put these up here. Here you go, Kenshin, look after the turtles. Hey, check out this one. Wow. It's a, a furry jacket. I got this one from a store called Alley. Now normally when I was walking past Alley They've got really nice displays at the front and really nice looking clothes. So I just assumed that it was like an expensive shop and you know I just never had been in there. But I was walking past one day and I saw this jacket. And when I saw it through the window I was like okay I'm prepared to spend up to $200 on that jacket. I need it for my look. I love the furry thing. It feels so good. And so I went in. It's like okay it's going to be a treat. It's going to be like a birthday present or something and uh, tried it on. They had a size, well, they had, I tried one on it and it was too small. I was so disappointed. As it turns out, I had to drive past one of their other stores to get home. So she checked that store and the they had my size. So went there, tried it on, it fit like this, it's so cool. I think it's pretty cool. It's, you can wear it to a nightclub, like it's all sexy with a nice dress or something. Um, you should change a nice dress or something. But it's also pretty gangster, I think, you know. You're rolling up in the wrong bitch, homie. Better get the fuck out of here before I pop an eye in your ass. It's really hot in this jacket, so what else do I have to say about it? Um, so I went, so we, they found the right size for me. They were really, really nice, great service, really friendly girls. Um, what else do I have to say about it? Yeah, I mean, the prices in the store were not bad at all. Like, this was only $69, so I'd been avoiding going to the store the whole time, just assuming that, oh yeah, it's probably out of my price range. Because the way that they put their displays is, is really, it's really tasteful, and it just looks like an expensive store. So, I was, I was stupid for, you know, judging it. So, if you're like me, um, go in there and check it out. Don't assume that it's, like, super expensive, just because it looks all very nice. And, um, yeah, I'm so glad that I went in there. And since buying this jacket, I've been in there a few more times and I haven't bought anything else. But, um, yeah, great service. 
great quality. This is great quality. I mean, when I saw this, I thought I'd spend much more than $69 on this. I was prepared to spend up to $200. I thought maybe $180 would be the price that I was going to be spending, or something around there. Um, I've seen other furry jackets at other stores that are not as high quality as this at all. There's, there's lining in there. It's, um, what's it made from? <sighs> Polyester. That's why I'm sweating like a bitch. <sighs> and it's 33 degrees here in Australia today. Um, so what else do I have to say? Look at this jacket off. Um, da -da -da -da. Great stuff, great service. Um, I had the jacket with, within that day because they had it at the other store. They called ahead for me and organized everything. Um, the girl was really helpful with the sizing. I might have just took a, took the 14. I, I put it on and I looked in the mirror. I was like, yeah, that's okay. It's a bit tight, but it's all good. But she said, hey, lift up your arms. And then I lifted up my arms and then the sleeves went whoop like that. And it was like, oh, damn, you know, that one size difference does make a difference when, when you're wearing something that doesn't stretch because this doesn't stretch. So, you know, with, with something like this, you want to make sure that you get your actual size. Um, so yeah, uh, what else was I going to say? Whew, I can't even think. Um, pussy cat. Uh, you know, it goes with my paws, goes with my tail, and my ears. Just completes the whole pussy cat look. Um, I was so happy to find it. Uh, now I just need pants that are furry like this as well. <laughs> I don't know, maybe a skirt that's furry. Um, I've got these slippers. <laughs> They're little clawed feet. They'd be so good if they were pink or purple. Oh, God, that'd be so cool. So that's another thing I'm also looking for as well. Ah, oh, okay. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, so that's all I've got for this video. It's gone on for long enough. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you out there for anyone who's subscribed. I've noticed that I've actually got subscribers on the channel now. So mwah, thank you so much. And uh, ciao for now.